Welcome to our Piping Engineering YouTube channel. We continue our free piping education videos in this channel. In this video we will show step by step how to calculate the distance between the centers of the elbows and the length of the pipe piece between these elbows in the 3D model of a pipeline. Before starting this video please subscribe to our education YouTube channel to watch more piping engineering videos. Let's starting pipe tutorial video. As you see, the 6-inch pipeline comes horizontally, then goes up at a 45-degree angle and continues horizontally again at angle 45-degree. To find the length of the pipe piece between these two elbows, first we must calculate the distance between the centers of the elbows. Next, we need to find the lengths of the 6-inch 45-degree elbows, and finally, from the total length between the centers of the elbows, we will subtract the lengths of the elbows and the gaps for welding. Let's go step by step. To find the distance between the centers of the pipe elbows, we will use this right triangle formed by dashed lines. Let's complete these dashed lines to right angle triangle. The hypotenuse of the vertically right angle triangle will be the distance between the elbows in the pipeline. Let's mark the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle with big letter H. Since one of the angles of this right triangle is 45 degree, automatically the other angle will be 45 degree and other side will 425 millimeters as well. In such situations, i.e., the length of the hypotenuse of an equilateral right triangle can be calculated in two easy ways. We will use the Pythagorean theorem formula in such cases to calculating the hypotenuse of this right triangle. According to the Pythagorean theorem, hypotenuse h squared will be equals 425 squared plus 425 squared. Continue to calculate the h squared will be equals 361250. We continue to calculate to find h more easily, h will be equal to 361250 under the root. At last we will use scientific or phone calculator and found h will be equals to 601 millimeters. So, the overall length between the centers of the 45 degree but weld elbows is 601 millimeters. If we subtract the lengths of the 45 degree elbows and the gaps for welding from this total length, we can find the length of the blue color pipe section. Now let's find out 45 degree elbows lengths. Pipe elbow dimensions are covered in ASMEB 16.9. This table shows 45 degree elbow sizes for nominal pipe sizes from 1 to 10. The nominal pipe sizes, NPS of 45 degree elbows are shown in the first column of this table. This letter D written on the 45 degree elbow indicates the outside diameter of the elbow and is shown in this column. The letters B written on the 45 degree elbow indicates the length of the center to end dimension of the 45 degree elbow and is shown in this column. Since the pipeline in our video is 6 inch, we will look at the row written as 6 inch in the NPS column. This row shows that 6 inch but welded 45 degree elbows have an outside diameter of 168.3 millimeters and a center to end dimension is 95 millimeters. Now, after finding the lengths of the 45 degree elbow, let's look at the fitting process of the elbows to the pipe in this pipeline. During fit up, such are opened between the elbow and pipe to be welded, and a gap of approximately 3 to 4 millimeters. Having this gap is for better root welding. We should take these gaps into account when calculating the length of the blue color pipe section. Let's start to calculate this blue color pipe section length. Pipe length is equal, total length 601 millimeters, minus 2 times 6 inch 45 degree but weld elbow dimension 95 millimeters, and minus 2 times gaps for welding 3 millimeters. Finally, we calculated and found that the length of the 6 inch blue pipe in this pipeline is 405 millimeters. 
By using this method, you can easily calculate distances between the elbows in the any pipe lines. This tutorial video is finishing here. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our Piping Engineering YouTube channel. Your support is very important for us. Let's not miss the comments and likes, my friends. So you will help the development of our education YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. See you on next video. Take care.